Hey y'all. So today we're checking out a new game from Timberline, Get Timberline Studios called The Red Lantern. This game is available in the Epic Game Store on PC and on the Nintendo Switch, and it runs $19.99 USD. I got a code for the game for uh, review purposes, um, but you should definitely check this one out yourself if you're into survival games or roguelike games, because this is a narrative-driven roguelike game in which you play a young woman with a familiar voice, see if you can catch who it is, um, who is kind of fed up with life in the city. So she decides to adopt five sled dogs and head out for the Alaskan bush. Of course, things don't always go as planned. So she gets a little lost. And in this game, you have to survive in the Alaskan wilderness. Um, and because it's a roguelike, when your run fails, you start all over at the beginning, but you get to keep a little of what you've gained in your last run. It's definitely challenging, definitely fun. Let's make sure we check it out. But before we do anything else, make sure you hit like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so that you can catch the next video in this series. All right, see you later. Bye. All right, so let's get started. Um, before we actually start with the gameplay, I wanna go over a couple of quick things that I found very um, interesting um, and helped alleviate some worry for me when playing this game. Um, as I said, uh, our protagonist sets out, she adopts five sled dogs and they go off on this adventure. I was really worried about the dogs. Um, so you will notice that if we look down here in options, you have an options for the dogs always live and you can turn that on or off. I worry about the dogs, as I said. So I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna put that on. The default is off. So you can just know that up front. Um, and of course we have some of our other basic uh, options here, including sound, uh, effect volume, music volume, voiceover volume. Uh, there are also kind of subtitles that are already built into the game so you don't have to worry about turning those on and off. Now the uh, second thing that we want to look at very quickly is the journal. So here's where we have a list of kind of the things that our protagonist wants to do. Get dogs, get a sled, go to Alaska. And she wants to do this dog sled race. Um, so I don't know if it's like the Iditarod or something different, but they never really kind of tell that at the beginning anyway. Um, and then of course, uh, the to-do list that she's revised, get a van, uh, bring Chopper, who's her first dog, adopt a dog team and go to Alaska. Um, and then when we look on the next page, um, on the first page, we see like a list with check boxes. These are things that you can achieve during your runs. Um, and it, if you, the more of these things you achieve, I think the better that you do um, in terms of being able to bring things with you into your next run. Because as we see on the second page, um, we see our packing list, dogs, sled, van, two foods, one wood, three bullets, one med pack. Of course, food, self-explanatory. Wood is used to light fires that you use to cook uh, because if you don't cook your food, you have to eat raw food like your dogs um, and that chills you. Um, and that gives you like a, a, a health debuff, right? Um, bullets for your gun, for hunting um, or to, uh, kind of drive off wild animals. So those are important as well. And then of course, med packs are kind of self-explanatory. So those are the things that we start with. Um, and here is our camper. And this cutie in the camper is Chopper. So let's get started. I love the art style. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, even in the starkness of the Alaskan bush. Do you have bush. those moments that just stick out in your mind? Those ones that just stay with you forever. When I was a kid, I was told, you are what you do. So choose wisely. And I tried to choose doctor. <laughs> didn't we all? That didn't take. I, I guess it worked for him. some of us. You know, this... This just isn't for you. But I knew what they meant. This just isn't you. 
Let's see. Probably not a problem for you, is it, buddy? Chomper, world's best pup and friend. Chaser of squirrels, smeller of city streets, and chewer of literally everything. <laughs> see, you know exactly who you are. So one of the things oh, that I noticed, uh, I probably should have had a backup. Plan, probably huh? after my first or second, exactly made the best decisions uh, lately. Unsuccessful run, except for adopting you, of course. Without you, I'd be pretty lost. And I sure as hell wouldn't be out on this road in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. Is that looking around actually but gets you things? Start, uh, even when you're on your sled, since I was a kid. If you don't look around you don't incredible. see things that are uh like off to the and from how you've dragged me up and down the streets of san francisco and you, you miss things um including too. resources well let's go assemble us a team huh chomper we need four more pups to start training oh hey we just passed mile marker 32. so the ad said that just after the mile marker there would be a kennel with a dog sledding veteran we could adopt Figure we can check out the pup, maybe add some experience to our team. What do you think? So there are eight dogs for us to choose from. Each dog has different personalities, different traits, different uh, that will be useful to us or might be a bit of a hindrance. Um, so you get to choose four of the eight um, and you encounter them one at a time. Once you have chosen your four, even if you haven't reached the end of the list of eight, the game starts. Okay. Um, let's go with you've always wanted a best Let's find a best someone friend. that compliments your squirrel hunting obsessions. Maybe a calmer pup. So we're gonna look for a calmer pup, uh, apparently. Oh, you're not a small fella, are you? They said you were big, but you're gonna make Chomper look like he was mixed with a corgi. You're actually kind of intimidating. Okay. It sounds like you've His name's gotten into a few fights out there in the wilderness, and that you always stuck by your musher's side, but they were afraid you would jump into a fight you couldn't win. But now you've become restless, being stuck back in the kennel, howling at night for the wild you can't get to. Well, we're hopefully going to have a nice training run out to a new home. We'll so plenty of wild things. Barkley's sure. a fighter. And I'd like to avoid the fights I can't which win too. I can either come in handy and keeping us, us safe. Or All right. we might lose him along the way. Um, I'm going to take him. I'm going to take him. He's cute. And I'm a, I'm a fan of big dogs. I'm not really sure why they call you Barkley. You haven't made a single sound since I met you. Should we give you a new name? Something that reflects your quiet nature? So... Let's call him... Mouse, if he's going to be quiet as a mouse. Mouse sounds nice, right? Okay, so uh, not quiet, just one to pick your moments. He didn't like that Make one. Make sure to listen. So let's keep Barkley then. All right. It's just a few more miles to our next stop. We're looking for three more pups to fill out our team and help us get to our new home. All right, so we have two dogs. We have our original dog, Chomper, and now we have Barkley. Dear God, your eyes are blue. They're Aww. brighter than the sky, Stilton. And you don't seem to miss a thing. You're keeping a constant watch. I bet you know everything that goes on, huh, old boy? You're supposed to be retired, but it sounds like you've been keeping tabs on the pups and leading their training runs. So he's got bright blue eyes, um, and I've always wanted a husky uh, with, sim with uh, similar coloring and bright blue eyes, so let's go for him. I know some pups that would love to have you around. And his name's Stilton. He's like cheese. Let's go for it. So meet the team. I think we're a pretty great bunch. You should have fun here. Aww. You got like a cold fire in those eyes. People shouldn't give up on you so quickly. But I guess some people get obsessed with crushing the competition and they don't see the value of a well-rounded team. We can't all be speedsters or beasts. Sometimes you need a pup who can let you know when you're steering the team into trouble. Or a moose. I hear moose are more threatening than bears. Is that true? I'm going to take that growl as a yes. We're out here to become a real dog musher and, you know, hopefully one day win a race or two. How's that sound? Okay, so we've got to prove we can hack it out here. We need to find out what we're made of, or sometimes you just need a new challenge. 
Um, let's go with, sometimes you just need a new challenge. You can just get caught up in your head about what you can and can't do. And this will show us what we're really capable of. We're glad to have you, Stilton. I don't know what the ride is going to be like, but... Aw, cheesy boy. We're definitely going to have an adventure. All right. I'm not sure if I'm picking you based on your skills, or just because I can't pass up a pup. But I am very excited about this team we've put together. We have six stops to go, and we only need to adopt two more dogs. Okay, so two more. We've got three, we need two more. Gail. You look like a force to be reckoned with. Gail, is it? I don't think you'll be needing much motivation. You might need more than a nudge in the right direction, but looks like you'll set your sights on a destination and get there. Gail's I'll probably warrior. have to make sure you take some time to rest so we can keep this energy up. Hmm. I kind of want to save a slot for a later dog, but I think I'm kind of like the protagonist. I don't want to pass up a pup. Um... Okay, I'm gonna pass up on Gail. I'm not sure I'm ready for you. One day, I hope I am. Aw, bye Gail, see you next time. All right, we passed one. Can I just have- Hey, so far so good. All two eight. pups out of the three stops is a great start. We only need to adopt two more dogs and we have five more stops. Okay. okay. We'll be okay. I wonder if they'll let us go back and choose one if we don't like any of the other ones. Hey, hey Glue. Glue. Where are you, girl? Aww. You know you have a house right there. You don't have to be in the snow. I had a St. Bernard once upon a time who was the same way. Right. Home is where you make it, huh, Iggy? Hmm. So she likes the oh, snow. Oh, you just a big old snowball. But big, we don't... fluffy, loud. Big, fluffy, and loud. I don't know that those are qualities we necessarily want in a dog, so we're going to skip on this one. You're a lovely pup, but you seem pretty happy here. Take care, pal. Yeah, she doesn't, we don't really know anything about her. We don't know anything about her qualities. Just, she likes we're snow. starting a new life. We have to be a little bit picky. I want to make sure we have a well-rounded team. So we've got four more stops to find our last two pups. We got this. That should work. Yeah. We just gotta choose 50% of these last four. Ooh, Slayer. Uh, Slayer? I'm just gonna come a little closer to get a good look at ya. Oh, Never no. Mind. I will stay right here. No, no, no. That sound? Looks like you might need some time to get to know me. Yeah, yeah. I get it. Your family did say you're a bit skittish. Are you really afraid of balloons? Yeah, I've got some weird fears too. I mean, skittish totally dogs are rational. dangerous. I think can it just be. makes sense to be afraid of manhole covers. You can fall in. Bad stuff could come out. That's clearly the beginning of the end. Okay, well, that's not exactly why I moved out here. But I don't think I have to worry about manhole covers anymore. And it sounds like you're very fast. I suppose knowing when and how to escape when you're afraid of everything is a perfectly fine skill. But that also means that a skittish dog might run when they shouldn't. Um... We'll run when we need to. You have to be prepared for anything. I'm not sure what's going to happen. I can't say for sure I know what's going to happen on this trip to the cabin. Sounds like it should be pretty straightforward, but I know nothing is. So we'll just try to follow what we think is right. Yeah. Well, Slayer, what do you think? Um, I think we're going to leave Slayer because I'm not really fond of skittish dogs Maybe either. once we're settled, I'll come back for you. Great meeting you, Slayer. All right, we're down to three stops left and two dogs. Seems really coming together. Okay, we have three more stops until we reach the trail and two pups to adopt. Looks like we're nearly at the next stop. All right, we need two good dogs, y'all. Two good dogs. Noodle. Noodle, huh? <laughs> I can see that. I said running alone wasn't enough for you. You were looking for some kind of challenge and a musher who would listen to you too. Well, I don't really know what I'm doing, so uh, having some help out there might be nice. You always just lay on the ground? You still like to run, right? I promise we'll still get plenty of rest. <laughs> you look ready for snugs. Just know that I still have to make the calls and try to do what's best for us. Will that work for you? 
Oh, we don't have a choice. We have to take Noodle. Ready to go meet the rest of the new team? Okay. I guess I gotta make sure we get enough dogs. Well, welcome to the van. This is Chomper. He's a city pup, but he's ready to get out there and learn how to become a sled dog. You ready to help us train? It sounds like you weren't too big a fan of indecision last time you raced. So you decided which way to go if your driver didn't? And that I should trust you when I'm not sure what's best. Wolf. We'll find a good compromise. How about I take the lead on most decisions, but if I'm unsure, you can help me out. But you can't just lay down in the middle of the trail, okay? We've got a new life to start. And once we're home, I'll I'm not sure a Noodle's nice gonna be the best fit, the but we didn't have a choice. How's that sound? And whether or not we took her. <laughs> All right, you're right. Rest up. We've got plenty of running ahead of us. All right, we need one more. We're really building a great team here. All right, our final dog is just up ahead. You wait here. Oh, do we only have one stop left? Uh, did you move your house here? I don't have any snacks, Bodega. Why didn't I bring snacks? They said he's been eating them out of house and home. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, we have to take this dog. Wow. I don't want to take the dog that's going to eat us out of house and home. Oh, well. Yeah, I think he'll be a great addition to the team. Let's go. That's kind of scary. Okay, I know I barely have enough food for all of us, but that's part of the adventure, right? Oh, he's got, our food. he's got different We're colored eyes. One land. blue, one brown. Just imagine it. We get to be part of nature. Let's go for that. She sounds like that kind of. Who knows what's out there? Personality. Well, besides bears and wolves and weasels and caribou and lots of creatures, honestly, and soon us, but it'll be amazing. We're going to follow our hearts and our stomachs to find our way home. We only have to worry about ourselves out here. A big reset button for all of us. We get to start something new. Become someone new. I feel like I'll like wilderness me. She believes in herself. That's a At big step right now. to leave everything behind and move and out to the Alaskan bush. I've been That's to Alaska. Been it's beautiful. Wouldn't want to be in the. I, I wouldn't want it. to be in the Alaskan We're wilderness really with five do dogs. This. I didn't really know. We've or got an four. incredible team here, and, my and own. all that's left for us is to head out to our new home. I can't wait to get to know y'all better and let you do what you love most. Run. Well. Now we get to do this. <laughs> We've got our team. And we are off. It's going to be fine, right? I can't believe we made it to Alaska Chomper. Margo said to travel to the end of the road and then hop on the sled and travel a few days more. We'd know her cabin by the red lantern hanging by the door. And she gave us this map. It's uh, not as helpful as I'd like. <laughs> but it'll get us there. We that is have to not a great map. <laughs> All right. So you're going to have to take the lead. It's a lot of responsibility looking out for a team, but I think you're ready for it. You ready to find our new home? Yeah. Okay, too. who's the dog that likes to like roll around? All right. Let's make sure we have what we need. All right, we've got we our have? team. Barkley, mm -hmm. Stilton, Bodega, Noodle. And the sled is all ready to go. Oh, we've packed the bare essentials to get us started. Still not sure about Noodle. We're going to have to Noodle. live off the land once we get to our cabin, so we might as well start training for that now too, right? All right. We got some meat. Two pieces of raw meat. That is you not pups a lot. can handle the uncooked raw and cold food. The kind we'll also find on the trail. But I'm gonna have to cook that up if I don't want to freeze my insides. Okay. Hypothermia is not something I'm looking to try. Nope. Hypothermia we'll is We'll be bad. able to set up camp once we get properly out on the trail. Okay. I and scrounged we... up this old gun and a couple of bullets. Just in case. 
So we'll make do with what we have. All right. So we can we use them to hunt or keep them around. And two pieces of meat. To protect ourselves. It is the wilderness. One piece all, of wood you know, for starting bears, fires. Moose, a gun, wolves, skunks, and three bullets. Oh, and most importantly, we've got one med pack. That's I should important. be able to bandage us up if something happens. So I guess we can use that for us and for the dogs. Okay. Well, I guess we should start. Let's go. What do they say again? Mush. Uh, mush on. All right, let's go. And again, we're gonna take these opportunities to look around. In case there's uh, anything off to the side we wanna make sure we see. Now here, we don't say left and right. We use ha for left and G for right. So let's go. Ha and G, let's see. Let's go, let's go left. G! Oh, when you, well, I said left, I meant right. Along the tail, uh, trail, <laughs> tail, you will run into encounters. Encounters have risks, but also bring rewards. You won't survive without exploring but going into encounters costs hunger. Oh, good to know. All right, this is your hunger meter. If your hunger meter is empty, you need to eat soon or risk losing your current run. Oh, did you see that? A bald eagle. Uh, no, Chopper, I don't think you can jump that high. What do you pups think? Oh, no, we're leaving them. pups. Ignore we are it. not going to hunt a bald eagle. This is your dog's energy meter. Crossing a trail marker costs one energy. So, these are examples of trail markers. Your run will end if you cross a trail marker when either your hunger meter or your dog's energy meter is empty. Gotcha. So I guess those are like each of our tick marks. Nothing over there. Nothing over there. Is that a squirrel up there? Why is it running so... Oh, it's a weasel. Let's check it out. Where did it go? I can only see a tree. Oh, look at it. Ah, it's cute. There you are. You're not very good at hiding. We're not going to hunt it. We only have three bullets. So hunting it sounds like a really bit bad idea because even if we do get it, that's like not enough to feed me and the My dogs. Pups haven't learned to climb. And yet. I wouldn't eat a weasel. You're safe up there. I mean, the dogs might, but I won't. Well, I worked up an appetite. I'm going to have to keep an eye on my hunger when I venture off. Ready to go? Oh, good call. That probably was not the best idea. Because, you know, we can't really eat it. Hmm. Let's go. Um, let's look at the map. Let's go ha! left. Let's go left. Well, we're gonna have to find some food soon. We only uh, started. What's going on up there, Stilton? What is that? You have become tired. While tired, the capacity of your hunger and your dog's energy meter is reduced. You can sleep at camp to reduce this effect. Oh, okay. Okay, so... We need to get rid of this tired status effect. But we can also pet the puppies. So definitely. Are you pets, Barkley? We've got to build a relationship with these dogs, right? Because we're going to keep each other going. Hi, Noodle. I've got a cat that's just like Noodle. <laughs> it's feeling more exciting to you. Yeah, okay. Let's just get some scratches. Right. I'm just here to pet you. <laughs> Petting you is my job. Okay, who's this? This is Bodega. Ah, oh, come here, buddy. 
So Bodega's the one with the big appetite. Of course, he's sitting right under the food. That ma makes me kind of nervous because I wonder if he would actually, like, be a, f a filter. I can take this mitten off, but I fear frostbite. That's Chomper. And then up here, Stilton. The little marker's kind of hard to see, but there he is. Uh, there we go, Stilton. Is he keeping a lookout for all of us? Yay, pet all the dogs. It's like an achievement. Yeah, I don't want to distract you too much, but I think it's time for some good old pets. Maybe some of these. And a bit of a scratch here. Aww. Okay. So we've got food. Not a whole lot. Maybe we should eat. Yep. Um... I should start. Fire would be nice. A start a fire. Oh, I can't wait to feel the warmth on my face. I'm ready to cook some food. All right. We'll take one. And then we will give the other food one. Food time. Chow down, pups. To the puppies. It's not a lot of food. We've got to find food tomorrow, definitely or their energy is going to drop and we're going to get hungry. All right, and we were tired, so to get rid of that status effect, we have to... Might be time to get some rest. Rest. I'm sure my stomach will be grumbling by morning, but the dogs will be energized. Well, should we go to sleep? Sure, let's sleep. Six hours pass. It's kind of early to go to sleep. It means it's going to be dark. All right, everyone feeling better? Oh, no. Oh, is this... That looks like sunset instead of sunrise. Oh, well. Get back on the trail? Let's go for it. I think we're done here. Let's Maybe go. we'll find some, uh, some food this run. All right. All right, y'all get up. <laughs> There's, like, rolling around. Get you moving. Oh, no, what? Okay. Um, why? Let's ha! Go. Ha. We'll go ha. It's far away, but it's here. What should we do? Um, check it out. See what it is? Hope stay nice and quiet. Let's see if it'll come closer. It's a caribou. Oh, come on. I don't know if I can get a good shot from here, but we need food. I don't think I have a choice. Well... So... That will affect our... Just have to, you know, adjust for wind, distance, add a physics parking thing. What was that? A parabola? Is that right? Come on, back to present. Okay. She sounds like she does not away. know how this whole, this whole thing works. Time to take our chance. Okay. ZL to hold our breath. And ZR to fire. I'm like, am I pushing the right button? Okay, we're holding our breath. All right, that sounds good. Great. Just great. Nope. Missed. Totally yeah, missed. Yeah, you're right. I can't dwell. I can't feel that sorry was for bad. myself. I did this, and we just have to keep going. That was a bad idea. I don't even know why I went for that. That caribou was clearly down too far away. Okay, at least we've got two bullets. Let's be safe out there. We're gonna be eating tree bark in a minute, y'all. There's a marker. That means we're gonna lose one food. What is that? Oh, hello. Oh, you pups see that? It's a caribou. Is it the same one? No, we're, we're hunting this one. He's all up in our face. Just stay there. We don't get this one. This run is done. Oh, no. We shot him. Did you really have to run away after I hit you? 
I could have tried again if you'd stayed here. You know, put you out of your misery, I guess. Aww. But... Um, now I have to leave this half done. Nature will balance this out. I can't do anything now. Wow. So we have, an, we have injured a caribou. Or maybe I'll find you again so I can balance things out on my own. We wounded a caribou. You pups do okay? Only one bullet left. We've got to find some food soon. Yeah, because uh, I've only got two little food notches. They've got three. This is not going to end right. well. Let's mush on. <laughs> Good thing that uh, we're learning. We're learning from this run. And there's a marker ahead, so we're going to each lose one, uh, one food. Hmm. Let's go. G. G. We're not camping. We're not camping. We don't have any food. What's that over there? Wait, is that a caribou? Oh my gosh. Well, we gotta, we gotta hunt it. We gotta hunt it. Okay, just breathe and pull the trigger. Let's hope for the best, y'all. I missed? I shot right at it! Right. I was warned this gun was a little off. God, I'm gonna miss that bullet. And my dinner. Hopefully I can fix this gun up somehow. So the gun's broken. <laughs> oh my Thanks gosh. Thanks for holding down the sled, pups. We're gonna need to find bullets. Yeah, we're gonna need to All find right. bullets. Let's mush on. Maybe there's a bullet tree around here. Maybe there's a bullet tree. All right, puppies, let's go. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is... Should we camp? Yeah, we have no choice, right? Because we're tired. We uh, set up a pretty good camp. We've got our meat all strung up to be out of reach of bears. And we can make a fire. It'll be nice to cook up some food or warm my bones. And of course, I can check on all of you. So, welcome to camp. Uh, here you can eat meat, fill in your hunger meter. You use the bowl, dog bowl to fill, feed your dogs, filling their energy. It's telling us this is the first time, because this is the first time we've actually camped. Last time we camped just because we were tired. Um, and I guess the, ga the game made us camp, so it didn't tell us this part, but now we know. Um, good thing I knew already. <laughs> um, and I'm just gonna go to sleep. We have no food. I cannot make a fire, because I have no, um, no wood. Uh, so, yeah, this Happy is time not, to get some rest. not well, gonna we end go well, to probably. Everybody's gonna be cranky in the morning. All right, everyone feeling better? Get back on the trail? Yep. My uh, health over there is, or my hunger is flashing red. And there's a mile marker, so this is probably gonna end our run. I'm, um, I'm feeling a little weak, pups. It's getting dark, right? I'll just rest my eyes. Keep on running, pups. Yep, you starved. Wow. Ah, ah, a nightmare. Okay, well, at least I have an idea of what could happen to me out there. Oh, good. Oh, we didn't really die. We were just dreaming yeah, about. We uh, we really need while to take we were, care of ourselves. While we were there. driving. We've got a lot of stomachs <laughs> to think about. I can't take care of you if I don't have the strength to keep my eyes open. We have to plan ahead. Are we ready for this? I know what to be wary of. As you play, you will make interesting discoveries. At the end of the run, they will be added to your journal. Pet an elk. 
Um, your journal's packing list details the food, wood, bullets, and med packs you start each run with. As you make more discoveries and become more prepared, you start future runs with more resources. Good to know. Um, so we've got a couple of things checked off of our list. Um, make a plan. Imagine the new neighbors you have and all the beauty you'll see. Um, don't be afraid to explore. So we now have four bullets instead of three to start our next run, which is useful. Um, one who has never lost, never is found. Live off the land, hanging with my fluffy friends. Love to pet my pups. Um, Alaskan animals. Um, you have to finish what you start. So we've seen some things. Uh, we've seen a caribou. I'm guessing that there's a little sticker behind me as well that must be the, the weasel that we saw. Um, oh, there's a deer or a deer and a, a caribou. There's the ptarmigan right behind me that we saw, a bunny. Um, a skunk. I don't remember seeing a skunk. Oh, well. All right. So the, this is the way the game keeps track of what you've seen in your initial runs. Um, and as you experience more, see more, you get more things on your packing list. Um, so in traditional kind of roguelike, uh, in a traditional roguelike manner, um, the more runs we get, the more experience we get, and the better we'll do in future runs. This is actually going to be the end of this first um, episode for us. So the next episode, we will be starting with four bullets, four, and seeing where we go from there. All right, y'all. Until next time. So what'd you think? That was the first video in this series where we're playing the Red Lantern. Did you figure out who it was uh, voicing our, our protagonist before I told you? I wonder. All right. So if you like the video, make sure you hit the like. Also, make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you catch the next video in this series. So next time, um, we'll go into um, a couple more runs and see where we end up. All right, y'all. Until the next video, take care of yourselves. Stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.